Okay, the key to trimming those. It's right there. Toenail clippers. They're the only thing sharp enough. This seal is the toughest thing ever. And then I wanted you to see this. GM standard upper. Oh. So like I said, this motor, it's tight. It's a tight motor. So uh, let me get this in there and uh, see how it goes. Okay, this is the pickup screen. And it sits at least an inch and a half above this. You're going to love this. See if I can get some light on this up there. There we go. Okay, we need this. Isn't that disgusting? And you saw the bearings. I showed them to you. <laughs> so anyway, the rods are lubricated via these nozzles. And in the trough at low RPM, it just picks it up, those little scoops. So let me get all this cleaned up. So, uh, without an oil filter, I guess that's what you get. <laughs> but at least they were smart enough to uh, put it, the pickup high enough to not pick this crap up. So, anyway, it's in a trash can for obvious reasons. With all my rags that I've been using. So, and then update as far as the engine. So I did blackheads on the stove bolts so that they stick out a little bit because I want it to stove bolt, you know, same on the top bolts for the valve cover. And then this side you've already seen. But uh, anyway, I put the uh, timer cover, which is sitting over there, and then uh, that yellow mark looks better than the red on the yellow so that'll be for your timing marks back there behind the dipstick so anyway so getting there almost time to put the oil pan back on and then uh put her up back together enough to get it running i'm actually surprised at the amount of rust underneath the uh caked on nastiness and I couldn't find anything that might have indicated original paint not even in the crevices so, no. anyway let me get this squared away there's a couple dents right here try to pound those out there's a little one there I don't know if I'll mess with it but these you know I'm going to beat back this way a little bit it's an old trick on these metal pans to make the gasket seal better so let me get this sanded and cleaned up, and then I'll work some more on the inside. I've got it pretty clean, but, you know, need to do it one more time. Sign off. Okay, so this is six and three quarter. A little older. And the pan is seven and a half deep, not counting the gas. So, so that leaves you how much sludge you can build up before it gets sucked up. So, there's quite a bit in there, but uh, seems to be okay. Here we go.